Okay, hello all. Welcome to a special presentation of Mantrack Live, focusing today on parts.cat.com. We have Semyat here, our PCC champion for Nigeria, who will take us through the benefits and a walkthrough of parts.cat.com. Semyat, thank you for your time and please take it away. Uh, good morning, our customers. My name is Semyat Adewumi. Some of you you've, we have met in person and some we've, uh, we have spoken on phone severally. So we'll be going through our Caterpillar website, mainly for parts. It is called parts.cat.com. I'm going to take you through the online features. The agenda for this is we have an um, online, order safely online. What is PCC? PCC is actually the short form for parts.cat.com. We are going to discuss the benefit of PCC. Then we will go to the live demo. After that, I'm going to share the webinar offer that we have. Then I will take questions. The website is an online shopping to create a several world due to the COVID-19 pandemic we all are in in the world. You can see from my screen, order safely online, parts.cat.com. What is parts.cat.com? PCC for short. Parts.cat.com is an online store where you can easily order original cat parts via PC, your tablet or smartphone. All the genuine card parts you need are just a couple of clicks away. Parts.card.com replaces the old part store and is easier to use than ever, wherever, whenever, however you want it. The benefits of PCC. You view price of card parts. You have access to part availability at a glance. You can shop for cat remand and classic part options. You can also compare specifications, view electronic part manuals. You can view your order summary. There is what we also call quick order for those of us that have long part list. And we have our plan maintenance kit. One click login to MCC and SIS. Your user ID for your PCC also logs you in to MCC and SIS. Then we have the ship to me option and the live chat where you can contact us anytime, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I would like to go through the branch order process to see the difference between the PCC or the process and you actually visiting any of our branches. We can see you drive to branch, then we have to queue and wait for PCA or the TSR, the salesperson or the counterman. Either the salesperson or the counterman, either of them identifies the parts you need and then they create the code you want. Then we have the approval process. The approval process depends upon the person making the decision and the time location. After that, you have to prepare your LPO and submit it to place order. You wait to pay, pay and collect goods. But for the PCC order process, all you have to do is either you pick up your tablet, your phone or your PC, log in with your unique ID, search or identify the parts that you need for your asset. If you already have the part numbers in an Excel sheet, you can upload it within a tink of an high, hard to cut. From it, you see the summary of what you need. Then you, you use that summary to do your LPO. After that, you sign your LPO, scan it, attach the LPO, soft copy, you place order, drive to branch, pay, and pick up your good. This process is faster because before you get to a branch, upon confirmation of your payment, your goods will be waiting for you if you are going to pick it up. 
So I would like to go through the live demo. So let us go to parts.cat.com. Here we are. Where we have a shop more than 1.4 million cat genuine parts. Find what you need faster by entering your information below. For those of us that we have our, we have already signing, we already create account. We have our signing login details. But for those of us that we do not have account, we have to register to access this website. So the first thing you do is shop local means enter the location where you shop. The nearest branch where you like to shop. Let's assume you are in Lagos. This is Lagos Island and mainland. So I would like to pick mainland, our Oregon branch, the headquarter. The store will come, you can see, I said it earlier, we have V High branch and the Lagos Oregon branch. So you pick any one that is closest to you. So I like to pick the headquarter, that's the Oregon branch, select. If you type in worry, our branches in worry will come up. If you type in Paracot, the one in will show up. The same with the one in Abuja. It depends on the location you put. After putting on your location, you can see the branch address is being displayed. In case you make a mistake, you can as well go back and change it. After this is done, you come to registration. And here you create account. Register with Mantra Kuna Track Group. Here are just few details you have to put in your first name and co. Then you create your unique password and um, username and password. The dealer customer number, if you don't know it, you don't have to worry, you can leave that. But please, our system has country region as a default. So we would like you to change it to Nigeria and put in your street address. For the SIP process code, if you don't know the code, all we have to do is Google it. Maybe we live in Ikoi, Lagos. So all we have to do is go to Google and put in Ikoi, Lagos. And Google will bring it up and show us the code. Say so six digits, then we enter it. So let's assume after that, you have to click all these terms and you create account. Upon creation of account, an email, you will receive an email in your inbox that will get back to you to finalize the detail. So once we set it up, you get an another confirmation from us that your account is ready. This can take up to 48 hours. But in case you need to use it as now, 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 at the end of this presentation, I will share my contact. You can send me an email or you give me a call. And you can also chat with an expert. This function is working. So let's go to, let's go back and um, go to sign in. Assuming we already have our user ID. I want to make mention of something. You don't need your password to access certain information, to access this. You can see, you can shop by category. We have a lot of things here from air conditioning, kits, attachment batteries, fluids, and tools, hydraulics, plant maintenance kits. In fact, like I said, this is the part manual. And you can click here for, to go straight to the part manual, to also go straight to SIS. So yeah, I would like us to sign in. Since we are doing a live demo, I've already seek um, this customer's audience to use them um, his account. This account belongs to one of our customers. So we are going to use it for the purpose 
of this training. Here we are. If you have the serial number of your equipment, you can impute it. And if you do not have the serial number and you know the part, you all you have to do is click here and impute the part. Let's assume that we don't know we, if we want to go through the parts manual. So we'll come here and click on the parts manual. We only have, we know what we want. Assuming what we, what we want to replace is an injector and we don't know the parts number. We we'll come here and type injector. And here we put in the serial number of our equipment. Once we click search, the information that we need will pop up. You see, result for this equipment with injector. This is the engine arrangement, the fuel system injector group. So all we have to do is click. This arrangement number is necessary. So when we click this, You see, this is an excavator powered by C7.1 engine. And we can see the, this is the part number that we need. If we need the, in, the injector group as a group, this is the part number. In case we want individual parts, then we can decide that, okay, I don't want this ref. You can decide to pick what you want from this. You can see the parts manual is as easy as ABC. And if you look at this screen, we can see the fuel injector. This is the cut part. That's the classic new cut in injector. And you can see that we also have the Riemann. Whenever you see R in the middle of any of Cut, but, um, caterpillar part number. It shows that it is Riemann. Riemann is just like new. It is manufactured just like new. It is it is it is um, re-engineered to the specification of the cut part. So, and you can have, in case you want to save on your equipment, Riemann makes you to save a little. So, and it's very good. It also has part warranty. It has the same warranty as the new one. People choose Riemann if they want to save, if they want to save on the price or the cost, the total cost of what they want to do. So we can go ahead to either use this or we had this to cut. So I would like to go by way of example and had this to cut. If we are just, if you are going to choose Riemann, we don't have to choose the cut new. But if you are going to choose the cut new, we have to remove the Riemann. So we have to be sure of the parts we need. But don't worry, let us continue. There is a way like this. I've clicked it twice and it gives me 12. There is a way for me to reduce and to add more and to also reduce in case I make mistake. So after that, you can go to our part. This is our cut. Once we click it, The shopping cart is up. You can see these are all the things. Apart from the remainder, uh, apart from the injector parts that I chose, the customer already have some parts in it. So 
We can also delete what we do not want, or we can increase, add more, or remove. But for this, I would like to remove them by clicking on the X. That shows I'm removing it. Once I do like, you can see it's been removed. I just want to have the list of what we input. Sorry, this has to do with internet is going to come on. We experience it at times, especially in this part of the world. It's taking longer than necessary, so I would like to click the shopping cart again. So as we can see, we have removed some of the items from the list of M40. We now have 36 packs. So from here, the items in our cart, we see the description of the item, the weight, the availability, then the unit price. The total price is also showing. This is very good because it will, if you need, if you require more than one quantity, it will show you exactly where we have it. Look at this, fell injector nozzles. We have them, you, we heard that six. And in our Abuja branch, we have six. So within two to three days, it will arrive to Lagos, the six in Abuja. Why the remaining six will arrive from overseas in 19 days? And we can see that this um, fuel injector group, we have one in store in Lagos, we request for one. So that it is, um, we have it in stock. Then this, the injector sleeve, we also have it in Lagos. You can see. There's another thing I would like to mention. When we are shopping, the other types should be stock because emergency can raise the price. It's always good to be on stock. If you have anything that has to do with emergency, after this, you click the button here, chat with an expert, or you send us an email. Then we, we see to that, that you get your part as at when required. So from here, we have other subtotal. This is the subtotal price of all the things in our cart. Then we can proceed to summary. But I don't want to proceed yet. I want to quickly show us how we can have a quick order. When we have a long list that we already have in our Excel, it can be in three form, dot CSV, XLS, XLXX. So I will use a dot CSV as an example. But I would like to clear the card first. Oh, don't worry, let us go on. Let's go to the quick order. So we'll come here. The quick order import parts from a spreadsheet. Once you click it, this pop-up will come. Upload a spreadsheet. If you have a spreadsheet up to 180 part numbers, please use the form below to upload it and add those parts to your order. So, I've attached the file 
and it's already uploading. Let's allow it to finish uploading. So you can see, this is what I have uploaded. I'm going to cancel this. So you can see, in less than 30 seconds, I have a part list of about 70, 47 items uploaded. So I can add this to cut or I can check in case I need to increase or decrease. So if I need to change the quantity, I can increase it or I can decrease it. This is all you have to do. Then you go to add to cut. This part number is not front. Maybe I made a mistake while typing it. So in case we have this type of error, all you have to do is not it. Then you remove it to check. Go through it again and see. This is very good because it will actually, you will not be processing wrong parts. It will indicate if a part is not okay. Fine. Here we are in the shopping cart. We have um, our source of supply. We see here we have um, sources of supply, Caterpillar and Mitsubishi. The part number is the same. But since what we are ordering is Caterpillar, so we are going to choose the Caterpillar part. Unfortunately, there is this uh, other, um, other source of um, supply will show there is nothing we can do on that. You can use it to compare. As you can see from here, cut is even a bit cheaper in this you save like 900 on this. And you can see for the other one too, Caterpillar 260 and here we have 367. So this will make you to be able to compare prices with other suppliers. So we choose, we ensure that what we are choosing is Caterpillar, as you can see, as you can see. So having done this, I'll go and click next. Okay, another good thing is when we have a replacement part number and you input the whole part number, the requested part number will show and the replacement part number will come on. Alternative part, you see original, as I was telling you earlier, I mentioned about injector group and that we also have the remand. So if we choose the original, so let's go ahead with it. But in case we want to choose remand, you can see it is just clearly indicate the two part number, then the availability of the two and also the price. So here we come to a summary of what we have ordered. And here we, pro we proceed to check out. This is the shipping and billing section. So 
here we have option of either you pick them up, you either you pick the parts up in our branches or you choose ship to me. So if you are going to do, if you are go, if you are going to ship it to you, you click this. Once you click it, the the shipping address you put it. This is already in the system for the owner of this. Then the shipping method. Of course, this is a very large amount. So here, I can, I will pick truck. Or it, this depends on how you want it. But due to, uh, because of this, I would like to put, pick a next day delivery. And you see the total weight is being calculated here because this is much. Then you can pick economy or we pick standard, but economy is okay due to the weight. Then here we calculate the freight. There are ship address filling missing. The shipping address is the same. It's already filled. But in case we want to change it, we can also edit it. It can be edited. If somebody else is picking it, or maybe you are receiving it in a different place that is different from your main office. So, I don't want to tamper with this person's instruction. If you have any special instruction, maybe delivery part or whatever, you type it here. Let's calculate the freight again. Okay, due to this, we are unable to calculate it. But this is how to do the ship to me. You pick the option that you want. Then you select premium standard or economy. Then once you, you see the total weight of your item we display here and you calculate the freight. Once that is done, the, the amount for the shipping will be included in the summary. So, you can you you can now use the summary order. We saw 92 million. We can use that. We use the summary order to do your LPO. Once you are done with your LPO, you scan it. You come here and upload it. If a promo code, if a promo is running and you have the code, you click here and enter it. Let's proceed to the other summary. Okay, yes, yeah, select. We have to select billing method. This is very, very essential. If you are the uh, if you are a credit customer, you pick dealer credit. For this customer here yeah, is a cash customer, so I will pick cash. Okay, it's invalid. So the billing method, this customer is a cash. If you are paying cash, you pick cash. If you are giving us check, you also pick cash. But if you are going to give us help you, you pick dealer credit. So I'll pick dealer, I'll pick cash. Then I'll proceed to the other summary. Sorry, the internet is a bit slow. Finally, we are here. So this is the summary of our order. You can see the, because the shipping was not calculated, I did mean it was calculated, it will be shown here. Then the tax and the, that's the VAT. 
7.5%. This is the total of the order summary. Once you click place order, the reference number will show and we will receive your order in our system. I would like to quickly mention the plan maintenance kit. For some of us that would like to, when we want to do PM and we do not know the part we are supposed to use. So assuming this remains a uh, The serial number, we click search. The PM, this is the excavator. So we select maintenance interval. You can see PM1, PM1F, that's 250 hours, 500 hours, 1000 hours. Assuming that we want to do 250 hours. So you click on it, depending on the maintenance, then you click on build kit. You can see, these are the kits that we need for the PM maintenance of the 250 hour interval for this our equipment for our excavator. So we can hard haul to cut at a glance. Once we click this, everything is added. And once you had to cut, it goes straight into our shopping cart. I would also like to mention that whenever we are doing registration, we can also set up hierarchy for approvers are hundred. Maybe the uh, manager, the supervisor, the engineers, we can set hierarchy up. For the chat, um, this for chat with expert. When we click on this, you see you put in your first name, last name, then email, your phone number, then the inquiry of what you want to do. This is your generator, machine, other part service. So we are on parts.cat.com. Anything you want to make inquiry about, all you have to do is, assuming it is. Um, generator, you click it, then you start chatting. After that, we are going to get back to you. You will see somebody attending to that chat. And if nobody comes on, we will definitely get back to you. We we'll ring you back and we send you an email to respond to your inquiries. Then we have um, this um, line, uh, aftermarket part called yellow mark. It is a new line of um, parts at a lower price point for those looking for cheaper alternative to cut new and remand parts. This yellow mark part follow approved Caterpillar engineering specifications and come with yellow mark part warranty. At this point, I would like us to, I would like to take questions from our customers. Thank you so much for your time and for listening. That was great, Semia. Thank you for uh, going through such a detailed analysis. Um, one thing that we'd like to say is, uh, Semia, are you able to highlight the special offer that we've got, uh, we've got planned? Okay. Like I said, that whenever that there is a promo code, I'll go back. After this webinar, there's going to be a promo code that I'm going to share with our participants. So let's go back to our cart. There is a particular place there that I show enter promo code. Once you have any promo codes, then you are going to input it there. Once you upload it, if it is 5%, it's going to indicate. If it is 7%, it's going to indicate. But after this webinar, I'm going to share a promo code for attending. And this, the promo code is going to 
be on, you can use it as many times as you like till the 30th of June 2020. Um, often during the year, each quarter we run promos and I'll be sending, we will send out emails to our esteemed customers and um, inform you about the promos and also send you the promotional codes. Yeah, so yeah, I want to show you, come back, you go to previous. Once you go to previous, because of the um, internet or every attachment here, the internet is a bit slow. It might really consume time. But all you have to do is just to, assuming you are at the end of um, your ordering, before you do, before you click place order, all you have to do is just go back and it will take you to where you, to a place where you can input your promo code. Once you input it and you go to the other summary, it is going to reflect the discount. Is that well understood? Yeah, great. No, very nice one. Um, just one on, uh, you know, say, say I'm a customer that has a number of machines and I'm ordering the same maintenance kits over and over again. Is there any way to save my kits so that I can uh, reorder as needed so I don't need to fill in every time? Yes. After ordering, because of the internet, I could have gone ahead. But if I order this, it's going to affect the customer's account. We have what we call order history. As you can see it on my account from the my account summary. You see, we have order history. So whatever you have ordered before, it have it saved there. So once you click the order history, you have the saved, you can see the save list. So this whatever ah, okay. you have saved will be there on the save list. And if you have forgotten a particular part number and you want to reorder it next time, all you have to do is come to your order history and go through it. All the part numbers are saved there. Yeah, perfect. Sounds great. Um, so Simiat, say I don't know my part number, you know, I'm an owner operator. What's some of the ways that I can find out what my part is? You know, you know I, I can see that there's parts manuals there, but what are the ways that, that we can discover our part? There are other ways you can discover a part. There are many ways. Parts manual is one of the things. And um, you can, if you, if for the people that are, are licensed with our SIS. They can go through the SIS. And if you know at least the parts, you do not know the number, but you know the the particular thing you want. You don't know the part. What is missing is the part number. So if it is a cylinder seal, you come here and click cylinder seal. You can see. So it not depends. Is it the buffer seals, the edge seals, the edge wear rings, the piston seals? So let's click piston seals. Assuming it is piston, the seals for piston that you need. And since you don't know it, but you have your equipment um, part number, so you put it here. Okay, let's try let another part number. But this is the way to go through it. You come to shop by category. You come to shop by category and look at the category of things that you are looking for. Engine part, filter, electronics, drivetrain, and co. If it's engine parts, we can click on engine parts. And we also even have cat remand products for those of you that they are hearing about it for the first time. So you can see the engine part. So after cooler belt, braking system, camshaft compressor, cooling system component, 
I don't be I want to be I don't want something heavy in order not to delay us because of the internet. So I, I would like to pick something light. Let's go for cooling components. So once you click it, you can see because I've already input the serial number of my equipment, it has displayed. So from what we have physically in our hand, then we can match it up with the pictures and then select exactly what we want and had to cut. Yeah, fantastic. And it seems very intuitive. It's it's kind of like, you know, you start by your compartment and move into what you need. And sure. so long as you have your serial number, you will be able to clearly identify or simply use the parts manual as well. For those sure. that do have the SIS offering, of course, that's a little bit more detailed, a little bit more complex, and it will allow you to, in fact, uh, choose your parts and then push it into PCC, uh, which is another avenue and a great way of of getting your parts uh, accurately delivered. Um, speaking of delivery, Semiad, uh, the ship to me function, um, how is that working in Nigeria? Well, perfect, perfectly well. Once you choose whatever, I want, I think it's due to the, you know, here we have over 2000 kilogram weight of products in the shopping cart. So I'm sure that's where the problem comes in, but oh, it's due to network. Let me see. The ship to me function, all you have to do is click the ship to me function, like I mentioned earlier, input the address of where you want it because your default address is what we have in our system, the address of your company when you were doing your registration with MindTrack. So where you need the part may actually be at a site that you need it. So you need to include to update the address of where you want that particular item or the particular part to be ordered to be shipped to the name of the person and the address. After, after that, you are going to pick what you want. The, if you want courier like DHL, UPS, you pick it. If you want like something bulky like this, it is actually going to go with truck. So you are going to pick truck and we have um, um, types. We have other options of um, um, ship to me. We have the premium, we have the standard and we have the economy. Normally standard is OK, but if you have large parts and you, are, you want to save more, you can pick economy. It's fine. It's going to be delivered. But if there is an emergency and you need it like you need it, it's very urgent, then you have to pick premium. Mm. Once you pick premium, it will flag it and we know that you have you've got to get this part as soon as possible. Yeah, great. Uh in terms of ship to me, the coverage, where, where can we deliver parts in Nigeria? We deliver parts everywhere in Nigeria, everywhere. We deliver parts anywhere because we cover the whole length and breadth of Nigeria. So even where um, vehicles, where vehicles cannot get to, bike men can go to. And from Lagos, I've um, sent many parts through um, cargo air freight. I've done that myself, so it's not as if maybe someone or maybe we do it. This is what we've in the last 13 years that I've been with the company. So there is nowhere we don't deliver to. And when we get to a place, maybe we have to cross river, like we have um, our eastern brothers, where we get to some certain villages and we still need to, you know, get um, cross river or water. We still go ahead to use boat and deliver our parts. So parts are being delivered everywhere in Nigeria. Well, that's fantastic. So it's, it's amazing new uh, uh, new service that we're offering, and it's great to see that we can get across all of Nigeria. That's that's good to hear. And Semiad, I know you've been involved in Cat Digital products technology for a number of years now, and we know online procurement is growing rapidly. Uh, what are our customers saying about parts.cat.com, the ones that are online? Well, the ones that are online for the PCC, the first thing they appreciate there is the availability of parts. 
the availability of pack they like to like oh i don't have to call any salesperson or write an email for me to be able to know that parts are available and another thing like oh this is the part and this is the price without any hassle it's very very convenient for me and the other one is the other processing that is very easy just like the way they order the things in uh, on jumia conga and amazon so it's very easy they like the parts of availability displaying being displayed then the price of the parts and for the ones that are not in stock maybe we do not have that total quantity they request in stock, they know that the days they are expecting it from overseas or our branches is being displayed. So these are the feedback I've gotten for the customer so far, and they are always, they like to use it, especially when we have um, promos going on. They're like, please, can I, can, is there any promo going on so that I can order and enjoy the discount? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, very cool. With with the registration process, just taking back to the very beginning. So can customers still view pricing and availability if they don't register or how does that work? Yes, you don't have to have an account with us to view it. You can come in, you can log in as a guest I want to log out this customer. So you can come in as a guest, as a guest. Then you see, this is the, I did not log in. I've logged out the customer. So if I have to log in, I have to sign in again. You can see the parts manual is there. Once you click the parts manual, part number, okay. As, let's assume this time around that I know my part number. Search. If I. Hello. Is that because you're in the parts manual, perhaps? No, this part number is not is not like you can see. So this is the parts manual. OK, definitely something is wrong. This is not right. So if I do not, if we have treated the one that we know our equipment, but this time around, I want to assume that we do not know the, but okay, that we have the part number we want to use. So, Wow, hope this is because these part numbers are right. So, okay, let's do this. Let's use an excavator. Seems it loss machine. Part type, enter the part keyword, injector. Oh, you, okay, part type, sorry. If it is part type, do not impute your part number. You just type what you're looking for because it did not say part number. So as you can see, I did not log in with anything. I'm here as a guest and we can see the array. We've used this as an example. So let me click on the second injector, the group injector. It's rolling. Let's give it time. It will come home. 
Oh, very nice. And you'll get the diagram you there. See. You see, the diagram is here. That's one thing about part manual. The diagram will come home. And for the shop, the shopping category, the picture we actually come on the live picture, so that you can match it up with what you have in your hand. You can see the price is showing, and the details, everything is showing. So if you now want to to buy, you can go ahead and say add to cart. This is a guest account. You are a guest. We do not have your detail, and you want to buy. So you come here, since you want to buy, you go ahead. Please sign in to use no. So on occasion, this one has might... to do with the network. You know the path yeah. displayed. So this has to do with network. So you can actually go to add, add to cut. Once you are on the hard to cut, it will bring it will. Ask you information for your um, about the billing, the cash payment. So then, how it will also ask you the details of how we can get back to you, your name, then your address. Yeah, that's Once great to know. Once you that, you can pay. If you want to do a transfer or or check, you can pay after the transfer. You can also scan. You can also attach the scan of your payment, and it will come to us. Without having an account on PCC. That's great. And of course, for those customers that do want to register, they of course can set up an account uh, by talking directly with the local uh, the local branch. Yeah. Now, Semia, do you have uh, your if somebody wants to contact you more about partstockcat.com, how can they how can they contact you? Okay, like I say, stay safe and get 10% um, off card parts whenever you order online after this webinar. That's the code SAFE10. And like I said earlier, terms and conditions apply. And this code is valid until 30th of June 2020. Oil and grease excluded. So if you have any more questions, you can email them to this email address for help regarding PCC, please contact myself, Semi at Adewumi, and my email, as you can see, is sadewumi at mantracknigeria.com. My telephone number is plus 234-8033890727. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, Semiat, I think that's all we have time for. Thank you very much for that in-depth um, walkthrough of, of partstockcat.com. Uh, for all those out, out there, thank you for watching and look forward to working with you. All right, have a great day, Semiat.